So it is that time of the year, time to get things prepared for winter. And if you listened to one of the previous episodes of the Woodhounds podcast, you kind of heard Joe and I talking about all the things that uh, we sometimes kind of ignore and we forget to do until winter is here. So today in the wood yard, I'm just getting a few things ready, moving some stuff around. You saw in the intro, I took a, I had one and a half pallets uh, of wood that I wanted to get in and get that stuff burned up uh, right now, actually. <laughs> I should have probably taken it in there last week. But I had that pallet that worked out great, taking it in with the wall knocked out now. Um, and those racks, they're nice, but the problem with them is you stack them in there and they're nice and tight when the wood is green. And then as the wood seasons, they become kind of loose and unstable. So the IBC tote is definitely way a way better option as far as moving wood up to the boiler. And that's what I plan to do um, this winter if I get through all of that oak that's in the woodshed. And the reason I wanna get through all that oak in the woodshed is this line of trees right here behind me, they're coming down this winter. So the plan is next spring, when the woodshed's hopefully empty, split all of this right into the woodshed and then it can sit there for two years while I burn up all the other stuff I got in the wood yard here. Well, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of things to do and I always forget, you know, stuff I gotta go pick up. I have still this nice little pile of uh, smaller diameter pine logs over here. So this weekend, the plan is to process almost all of this up into campfire wood for next year. And I'm gonna do that with the Yappa. So what I did is I moved the Yappa over here I've got a little room left on the end of the woodshed here. So the plan is going to be running those pine logs through the four way here in the Yappa and into a pile. And I might even just uh, end up splitting and stacking right into the woodshed as we go. But I'm thinking I can, this row right here is mostly all pine to begin with. So I can fill up the rest of that row, fill up an entire new row of all pine and then if I need to, I was thinking about this because the roof overhangs a little bit. So I could put some pallets down and stack that stuff right here and then it can just season all year till next summer. So that's gonna be the plan for this weekend. I'm gonna move those logs over here and run everything through the good old Yappa 315 right into a pile and like I said, maybe even just stack right off the end of the conveyor. The other thing I did to uh, get prepared for uh, the days getting shorter is I put up my two lights that I had in that shelter last year. I put those up over here above the splitter and I'll show you guys when I actually end up using these things. <laughs> but I just have a, a little battery bank little battery pack that I plug in and run these lights off of. I'm not sure though if they're positioned right. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see how they end up uh, working out. The one over here I thought would be nice to have this light in case uh, in the evening, once it starts getting dark, I mean, not when it's totally dark, but once it starts getting dark to uh, have some light shining down here to either pick, bring the rounds in or if I'm still bucking stuff up. And yes, I still have a big pile over there to buck up. But we're gonna get to that this fall and winter. Still have a little pile over there. So plenty to do. Gotta pick that pile up as well. So I probably have missed a few things on the list that I need to do, uh, but hopefully the snow will not be flying for a few more weeks. But the days are gonna be getting shorter next week. So, I think I'm ready for that. Like I said, I got the lights up. I'm gonna get all that pine processed up, run through the Yappa here this weekend, which you will see. And I don't think it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice out, but I don't think it's gonna be warm enough for shorts, but it might be warm enough for the ASYP. That is the all season yoga pants. But one of the things I got going on is I got a little change that's gonna be happening. I'm gonna be changing some things around, um, doing a little renovation, well not really renovation, a little makeover. And you'll hear about that tomorrow night 
on Lead Back for the Friday Night Live live stream at 8 p.m. Central. So if you can tune in, I know a lot of you, you know, there's regulars that come, um, there's some people that just can't make it, um, and maybe uh, you've never been to a Friday Night Live live stream before. So if you can tune in, it's always a good time. And like I said, I'm gonna have some details I'm gonna be going over about an upcoming little giveaway and a little, uh, like I said, just something a little fun that's gonna be happening. So hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central, Friday Night Live. Otherwise, hopefully you have your things ready to go. I know I'm just kind of, like I said, a chaotic mess. I just kind of, I see something, I take care of it, and then a few days later, I think of something else I gotta do. And, but one way or the other, everything usually gets done before the snow flies. And like I said, hopefully that's gonna be a little bit later uh, down the line, not anytime soon. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.